In these problems, we have some fractions with complex numbers, and they're asking us to rationalize the denominator. And we want to do this because, if you think about it, this i is a square root, and we don't like those in the denominator, so we're always trying to get rid of those by rationalizing. The way this works is you have to multiply by the conjugate. Now the conjugate, and we're going to do this uh, the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate is the same terms but with a different sign in the middle. So the conjugate of 2 plus 9i is 2 minus 9i. And I'll show you why we choose that conjugate in a minute. So you're going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. But we have to make this equivalent to 1, so we actually multiply by the conjugate of the denominator over the conjugate of the denominator. So we're going to multiply across the bottom, multiply across the top. Let's try this bottom first. We're going to FOIL this. 2 times 2 is 4. 9i times 2 is positive 18i. And 2 times a negative 9i is minus 18i. That's why we chose the conjugate, because then the i terms disappear. They come out to 0. So that's nice. Finally, our last term, we have 9i times a negative 9i. That's a negative 81i squared. But remember, i squared is equivalent to negative 1. So negative 81 times a negative 1 is a positive 81 plus 4. Our denominator now is 85. All right, now let's work on the top here. We'll FOIL it as well. 2 times 2 is 4. 3i times 2 is plus 6i. 2 times negative 9i is minus 18i. And 3i times a negative 9i is negative 27i squared. But again, this i squared is a negative 1, so this negative 27 is going to become a positive 27. Now, let's add our like terms. We've got 4 and 27, so that's going to be 31. And we've got 6i and negative 18i, that's going to be minus 12i. And there is our simplified quotient with a rationalized denominator. Let's try one more of those. Remember the uh, procedure here is to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator over the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of this denominator, remember we just changed the sign in the middle, is going to be negative 8 plus 3i. So we'll multiply that by that on the top too so that we're multiplying by 1. Let's FOIL out the bottom first. Negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. Negative 3i times negative 8 is plus 24i. Negative 8 times uh, 3i is minus 24i. And as you get used to these, you can probably just skip that step because you know the i terms are going to disappear if you're um, multiplying by the conjugate. The other way to think about this is the difference of squares. Um, what we'll really get is this term squared uh, minus this term squared. But let's go ahead and finish our, our multiplication here. We got negative 3i times 3i, so that's going to be negative 3i squared. Sorry, negative 9i squared. And remember, this i squared is a, a negative 1, so this is actually a positive 9. Those i terms disappear. We got 64 plus 9, so that equals 73. That's our denominator. Now let's FOIL out the top. 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. Negative 6 times negative 8 is a positive 48i. Sorry, negative 6i times negative 8. And um, 1 times 3i is a positive 3i. And negative 6i times 3i is going to be negative 18i squared. Again, this is a negative 1, so this is a positive 18. So we've got negative 8 and positive 18, that's 10. And 48i and 3i, that's 51i. And that is our answer. So that is how to rationalize the denominator in these quotients with complex numbers. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.